Hello, my name is Ashashi Desharkar. I'm from Usha Martin School, Malda. And today I'm going to recite a poem, The Village Blacksmith by Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. Under a spreading chestnut tree, the village smithy stands. The smith, a mighty man is he, with large and sniny white hands. And the muscles of his bandy arms are strong as iron bands. His hair is crips and black and long. His face is like the tan. His brow is wet with honest sweat. He earns whate'er he can and looks the whole world in the face for he owes not any man. Week in, week out, from morn till night, you can hear his bellow blow. You can hear him swing his heavy sledge with measured beat and slow. Like a sexton ringing the village bell when the evening sun is low. And the children coming home from school, looking at the open door, they love to see the flaming fog and hear the bellows row and catch the burning sparks that fly like chaff from a threshing floor. He goes on Sunday to the church and sits among his boys. He hears the parson pray and preach. He hears his daughter's voice singing in the village choir, and it makes his heart rejoice. It sounds to him like her mother's voice singing in paradise. He needs must think of her once more. How in the grief she lies, and with his hard, rough hand he whips a tear out of his eyes, toiling, rejoicing, sorrowing. Onward through life he goes. Each morning sees some task begins. Each evening sees it close. Something attempted, something done. Has earned a night's repose. Thanks, thanks to thee, my worthy friend, for the lesson thou hast taught. Those are the flaming fog of life. Our fortunes must be wrought. Those on its sounding and will shape each burning debt and thought. Thank you.